We leave you tonight with a creature feature you won't see on the Disney Channel. Imagine a massive beast the length of two school buses with the head of a crocodile, the claws of a raptor, and the tail of a serpent. What sounds like a mythological monster is actually real. 95 million years ago, the Spinosaurus was the biggest and fiercest dinosaur on the planet and the only one that could live in water. CTV's Joy Malvin takes a closer look at the first skeleton. So oh, look, see, there's two little You can't help but look. Those jaws. Why do it have so much teeth? The crocodile-like snout. It looks big and ferocious. Feet that could paddle and a massive sail-shaped spine. It looks so ferocious with its claws and teeth and it could swim. Move over T-Rex. Long before Jurassic Park, the biggest, baddest beast out there was the Spinosaurus. A supersized monster that not only roamed the land, but adapted to live in the sea. It's a combination of a bird and a crocodile. Nothing like it, alive today. Almost legendary. For a century, scientists knew of its existence, but had no proof until now. I would say it's the holy grail of, of dinosaur paleontology um, for many people, I think, because it's such a bizarre animal. The mystery took these two Chicago scientists to the Moroccan desert, following clues left behind by a German explorer who found fragments of the Spinosaurus, but the fossils were bombed into oblivion during World War II. It's a huge, imposing, terrifying-looking predator, especially when you see some of the animations that we've done of this thing. You wouldn't want to run into this guy on the street. No, you wouldn't. Even a reconstruction of the lost giant at the National Geographic Museum in Washington can be, well, terrifying. Whoa! It could just, like, take, take a human and eat it whole. It's a meat eater, so I'm made of meat, so it would eat me. At 15 meters long, this carnivore was always on the prowl for dinner from a world long ago and whose bones eluded scientists for decades. You have to wonder what else they might discover. Joy Malvin, CTV News, Washington. Okay, sweet dreams. <laughs>